In this tutorial demonstration I want to show you how to use RD Launch. RD Launch is an application that allows you to create a shortcut onto a portable drive and it works no matter what the drive letter is for the portable. So let's get started here. First of all we have our RD Launch. I have it on a USB stick here. And just to give you a demonstration I have a portable folder apps hello world and this is just a little demonstration as you can see when I run it it just brings up hello world so close that so now the next thing we want to do is we want to be able to put that into our RD launch INI file because the RD launch is going to read what's in the INI file and then it's going to launch that so the next thing here is to bring up our INI file and as you can see there's several settings in here that we can use we can use percent %d if we just want to replace the drive letter a better way to do it would be to using relative pass as we show here that we can use relative pass so using relative pass sorry about my colors here they're a little bit dark but anyways using relative pass are supported such as uh, backslashes and also when you have like dot dot for other subfolders and things like that so right now this is set for uh, systems root notepad.exe plus some of the other parameters and the start maximized if I were to run that, it will probably go off my screen, but let's give you a demonstration here. See it runs Notepad into full screen, so if I bring it down, you'll see there it's running. Okay, we'll close that. Back to our folder here, our apps, hello world. I'm just going to grab this out of here, copy, to get the file name, or sorry, the folder names. I'm going to come down, I'm going to paste that right into here. And so in place of the drive, we're going to put dot backslash. And then of course we need hello world. Hello world.exe. So that would be the file. So that's basically it. So now if we run this, I'm going to save that. And then run the portables right from the root here, RD launch. And as you see, it runs our hello world for us. Now what's really neat about this is if we create another folder here and move this into some other location, even if it's in a subfolder using the techniques that we use to put this in, you can see new folder that if we just call this some other folder, okay we have some other folder. Now I'm just going to move all this in here. Now normally with a Windows shortcut or something like this, this would not work. But with RD Launch, not an issue. So here we go, we got our Hello World back again. And just to demonstrate even further, if we took that particular folder, some other folder, and dropped it on another hard drive, so I'll drop it into drive H and let it copy over there. So there's a copy, some other folder, we run RD Launch, you see it automatically runs again. So that's about it. So you can see that we have multiple things we can do with the INI file to help us ease in putting our pass in. And uh, read through the INI file. It has some uh, demonstration things in there and, and some hints to what you can do. That's it. One other thing I wanted to mention here is that you can also rename the RD launch file to suit your needs better. I'm just going to click on it, hit F2 on the keyboard to rename. Let's rename it to start. Okay, so just like that. So there you go, the start is renamed. Now, whenever we rename the exe file, we also have to rename the ini file to match. So in this case, we're going to rename the ini file to start.ini. So as long as they match, everything will work fine. Okay, let's just try that out. Here we go, our hello world comes up. And one final thing too, sometimes you might not want to see the start ini file, so you can always click on properties and bring up the information for it. Click hidden and then you can hide the INI file so it's no longer shown. Just remember if you turn hidden files and folders off you will not be able to see the file that you just hid. In order to see it again you want to come into Explorer, hold down the Alt key, go to Tools, Folder Options and you want to turn on your hidden files and folders. So show hidden files and folders and drives. By doing that we can see the file again. So again, if we wanted to change it back so it wasn't hidden, we right click, go to properties on there, then we can choose the hidden option here, turn it back off and click, click OK. 
Now if we go back into Explorer, go to our folder options, go back to View, Don't Show, and all hidden files and folders are turned off again. So this is how you reverse that part. So don't forget to visit Big Byte Technologies to get your copy of RD Launch. It's free. Thank you.